We all believe that in the West, for you to be in a relationship with a highly attractive woman, short or long term, you need to be highly attractive yourself or above average looking with other things going for you like height, body and very high status. Basically your other stats are maxed out. But there is some outlier cases where you see an absolute baddie with someone who is considered barely average or is average looking. And you ask yourself how on earth did he back this girl who is way hotter than him. Well these so called average or below average guys are nicknamed ugly hot. I tried to see if there is any solid scientific research done on this subject. But I did not find anything satisfying. So I picked the case of Pete Davidson and started to theorize. So nothing is confirmed guys, these are just theories and hypotheses, don't take anything to heart. And you can leave your own theories down in the comment section as well. This video will be split into multiple parts. Part 1 about what ugly heart means and how it actually works. Second will be my theories and thoughts on the subject. If you want to support the channel and get a detailed facial analysis with personalized look max and advice link will be down in the description. And if you want to read more about topics like these you can check my blog at nerofacerating.com. Without further ado, let's get this video started. So first of all, we will look at the definition of ugly heart in what it means in the Urban Dictionary. A person who is in no way, shape or form conventionally attractive. But everything they do, how they talk, how they walk and the way they move is so incredibly hot that it makes them somehow better looking. It's still centered on physicality, but it's more about how to use their body and body language than their ugly faces. Coined from my former high school chemistry teacher are often tall, gangly and interesting men like Chris Martin from Coldplay. This is the definition found in the Urban Dictionary. Other examples of ugly hot men are, are Adam Driver, Pete Davidson as mentioned earlier and Ryan Gosling. Now let's move on to my theories. Now these guys that people call ugly hot are not actually ugly to be truly ugly or below average looking you need to have major upon major of flaws. I did a video actually way back discussing what truly makes someone a sub 5. You can watch it if you are interested. Anyways, these guys usually split into two categories. Average looking face wise and average looking with unconventional and unique facial harmony. Making their face stand out in a weird way from the rest just like Adam Driver's face. I don't believe that most of these guys are a sub 5 or truly ugly. Just in the average range. If someone was a sub 5 he would never be called ugly hot. Another thing I want to discuss is the aggressiveness of a man's face. Highly attractive men or chads basically have ratios that makes their face aggressively masculine and not friendly looking, making them very suitable for short term relationships and hooking up, but not for long term, there were studies done on this. These chads or aggressive looking men have high facial width to height ratios plus compact mid face ratios. The general face height is compact and their faces are wide. When it comes to the ugly hot men, most of them have tall mid faces, low facial width to height ratios, tall facial heights and their faces are not as wide, just like the face of Ryan Gosling. This resulted in the opposite effect of aggressiveness. Their faces look friendly, approachable and more suitable for long term relationships instead of short term relationships. The next theory I want to discuss is the general SMV sexual market value of these men so with average faces their other stats needs to be high and they are in a unique way. First of all, almost all of them are very tall and we all know height is ridiculously important. Adam Driver stands at 6 foot 2 and a quarter or 188 centimeters and he is built like an absolute unit. Pete Davidson stands at almost 6 foot 2 or 187 centimeters and Ryan Gosling stands at 6 foot or 184 centimeters and he is also built like a model. Another important factor is that their status is also through the roof. They are all Hollywood celebrities, filthy rich and famous so the status is 100 out of 10. The next section is talking about the relationship dynamics. So women don't choose these men as their first option to date. They always go for the chads and then another chad and then another chad. After a couple of years they go for the ugly hot men and give them a chance. So even though these men are high status the chads still get the highly attractive women first. And my final point is that there is a difference between an ugly hot guy who is a Hollywood celebrity and a hot ugly guy who is not. They will never have the same dating options. Because the difference in SMV or sexual market value is just insane. But this is just me rationalizing how this dynamic works. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A like and subscribe would be highly appreciated. And like usual, catch you guys in the next one.